you could have a beautiful mouth and you veneer spend thirty thousand dollars getting the most beautiful teeth but if your bone and gum aren't sound then you're gonna have another issue right Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Alan Williams with The Grapevine Dentist. And my name is Dr. Dale Choi with North Texas Dental Surgery. So Dr. Choi, today I wanted to talk about uh, a patient that recently came to our office and they came in because they wanted a new crown. However, they had really deep pockets, a lot of bleeding on probing. On the x-rays we could see they had significant bone loss. So we really recommended a deep cleaning. So basically, like their tooth looks something like this. It looked right? just like this on the x-rays. So their gums were bleeding, they were measuring deep. They had the bone loss, which you could see on the x-rays, yes. but let's tell the folks out there that a lot of times these patients come in, they can't even see that, right? right like right. They, they, they think everything's looking normal, but the x-rays tell us a whole di totally different story. Right. Because by looking in the mouth, we can't see your bone level necessarily. Right, right. Um, so anyway, this patient, she has a, this toothache, she has a cavity on this tooth, um, and she wants the tooth restored. Filling, crown, she just wants to be, she wants that taken care of. So what are the negative consequences of jumping right in and addressing the tooth what we see in the mouth versus the underlying issue. So right off the bat, like if this tooth is healthy and it's got healthy bone and gums, then I'm not worried about it. You do whatever work you need to do. Okay. However, the problem is that if they have bad bone and gums, basically what that means is they have, like like say that the bone and gums are the foundation of the tooth. So here in North Texas, you know, I'm, I'm originally from Ohio. When I moved down here, there was something I didn't know about the soil down here and how they said that you need to worry about your foundations. So that soil can wreak havoc on your foundation. And if your foundation isn't sound, then what ends up happening is whatever efforts are done in your house, you can do a $100,000, $500,000 kitchen bath remodel, completely overhaul right. your house. In a few years, your house is shot because you know your foundation is no good. Right. And typically, this, that's the exact same thing. You could have a beautiful mouth, a new veneer, spend $30,000 getting the most beautiful teeth. But if your bone and gum aren't sound, then you're gonna have another issue. Right. Right. So, and then I wanna say another thing that's even come to the forefront in the last 10 years especially, you know, this is my 10th year in practice, but this is a story that was kind of like starting to be initiated, this conversation back around maybe 2008, 2009. They are talking about what we call the systemic effects of the results of basically like your bone and gum and that inflammation and how, what wreak, what havoc it wreaks in your body with, you know, um, potential, you know, abscesses in your brain, strokes. Um, those are the two most things that I've seen in my 10 years. You know, believe it or not, right. I was very skeptical of it back in the day, but I have seen patients who have had strokes and brain abscesses. Mm -hmm. You know, and another very large link also, they say, is heart disease due to the inflammation and what role the inflammation has in heart disease. Unfortunately, heart disease is a very long process. You know, it takes decades. So for us to really pinpoint and when a patient has a heart attack to say it was due to their periodontal mm -hmm. disease, um, that's that's very difficult to say. However, those are definitely risks associated sure. with that. What about the link between periodontal disease and just our overall immunity towards viruses, bacterial infections? Actually, now in the day of COVID, um, that's been cited in some research recently. And the reason is, is that what they really realized about COVID and how it interacts with your body, a lot of it is due through an inflammatory process. And a lot of people, things that people don't even know nowadays is that what role does inflammation play with COVID and how like, you know, even giving patients steroids, dexamethasone, medrol dose packs, these are different types of steroids to help with that inflammation and patients have been recovering quicker. Mm -hmm. So there is actually a recommendation, even if you have periodontal disease, how that could be related to that too. Absolutely. Yep. So yeah, so to help kind of sum up your, you know, what you were originally talking about, absolutely. Before, and again, in my tenure career, we do see some patients that are more focused on, hey, just f f worry about right here, like, or, you know, cosmetic right. defects or stuff like that. And trying to have a patient, a conversation with the patient sometimes, letting them know what might be happening under the scenes. And I get it, right? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times these patients, they don't have access to x-rays or not, they don't know sure. what's going on behind the scenes. Right. But the best we can do is really try to help pa patients to, you know, to educate them and help get them to understand essentially what might be causing the issues. Right. That's gonna be a bigger term, the issue right. long term. And be skeptical of any shortcuts in dentistry. Right, absolutely. So hopefully you guys found this information helpful. Yeah, thank you guys. All right, thank you. Thank you.